when we talk about Zengi, unique ear care portion of Manipo, which are used by the Wenjie community. So this is a location of study site. It's Manipur is located in the northeastern corner of India. So a brief history of a little bit of discussion about Manipur. It has a population of about 27 lakhs, and the state is inhibited by the people of various ethnic groups and communities. The major inhabitants are the main kids and the indo mongolite groups speaking the indo tibetan verbal language, which is included in the settlement of the Indian constitution. So they inhabit mainly in the Imphal Valley and constitute nearly 57% of the total population. <coughs> the hills of Manipur are inhabited by 33 recognized tribal communities belonging to the Kuki and Naga groups. These tribal communities constitute nearly 30% of the total state population. Manipur Muslims are the second largest groups in the state, constituting 7% of the total population of the state. There are seven settled caste communities and are scattered in different parts of the Imphal Valley. So each and every ethnic community in Manipur has its own peculiar tradition and cultural heritage which are still fragile. So about Xiangyi. So the major communities for folk, folk, women folk inhabiting the valley area of Manipur have a tradition of keeping their head ears well groomed. So they consider long, beautiful, and black hair as an ashy to their beauty. So this tradition is continuing till today, even though ways and means of this grooming have changed a lot from the traditional ways. Since times immemorial, the major women folk have been using a peculiar kind of hair lotion which is preferred from the ingredients usually available locally either under cultivation or growing as a wild. Mention on this use of peculiar hair care lotion by major women folks of Manipur could found only on all literatures of Manipur like the Royal Chronicles, such Harold Kumbaba in Manipuri. So the word Chengi is derived from two Manipuri words, Chen meaning rice and he meaning liquids. Thus, Chengi means the milk of rice. So it is prepared by boiling a specific quantity of meal of rice with a selected plant species available locally. For the preparation of sangi, about one kilogram of local rice variety is soaked in two to three liters of water, but still customary to measure the quantity of rice in a small bale basket locally known as the marrow. So it is then passed through a small bale basket called the chen jambu where the rice remains inside a bamboo basket and a build of lights is collected in a vessel kept below the basket. So the plant, plant ingredient to be used are collected well in advance. The collection of plants depends upon the preference of user, number of ingredients used right from a single species to many. So <clears throat> this is how the rice is measured for the preparation of sheng. The bamboo, uh, this uh, basket is called meru and are of different sizes and usually measured for a particular day of meal. Then the rice is put in this small basket called the same jambu where it is uh, uh, mixed with water and the meal of rice collected below. Then this collected meal of rice is put in an iron bowl called it chafu used for boiling is Chengi. So, when ingredients are well cooked, start to give out a sweet aroma. Then it is strained or filtered through a piece of cotton cloth locally known as Kude, which is also used as a bathing towel. The whole process of preparation of this fear lotion is also known as Chengi Futpa. This is Futpa means boiling. So usually the sangi is used while it's still warm. So for boiling, the safu or the iron pot is put in an iron tripod known as the yoshabi. So sangi is put inside the safu, the board is the boiling. Some more abuse. The here is thoroughly the salt with the sangi and left for three to five minutes. Then the hair is again thoroughly washed with water and dried with the help of the towel. 
In certain cases, hair rolls are also applied before washing. After each wash, the hair remains threatening throughout the day. So it is common practice for a woman folks of my Maitei community to buy their hair with Changi on the fifth day of their menstrual cycle. Only after watching with Changi, they are allowed to cook for a family and can go to the local temple to offer prayer. It is almost compulsory for women folks of this community to learn the art of this preparation of Sangi since their childhood or at least when they are trying puberty. In olden days, it is compulsory for those ladies having newborn babies to bath their hand with Sangi on the 10th day after their childbirth. The same process still repeated after 90, 90 days of the childbirth and only up to that they are allowed to cook for meals for the family. So these are different uses of the different plant species. So out of the 76 plants, there's found four climbers, 10 are perennial herbs, 24 are annual herbs, 22 are trees, and 16 are syrups. The number of species used in Chang'e preparation. So out of the 76 species, Nine are formed to monocots and 67 are dicots. There are 70 genera and out of which 8 belongs to the monocots and 62 to the dicots. Out of 40 families, 7 family belongs to the monocot and 33 to the dicots. This is heavily what species list. Leviating consists of 11 species, composite and species, rotiaci, 5 species, leguminaci, Four species, Gramini, Malviaceae, Cholanaceae, three species is, and other six families, six family, two species is the remaining one species. So this is a part uses pattern. Uh, some are 32 plants and uses only once, or they are mixed only once. And things not very clear. 24 is they have uses. Uh, two times, Chartin have used thrice, three have used for four times, and another three for five times, and one used seven times. So these are for different applications. For pleasant smell, 24 species of plant have been used for regulation of blood circulation. We have found 27, 21 species have been used. For smooth, long, and black hair, 19 species have been found to be used. For cleansing the hair, 16 species. For controlling dandruff, 13 species. For a cooling effect on hair, 13 species. For controlling the least, 10 species. For controlling dizziness, 9 species. Extra growth and strengthening of hair, 9 species. For controlling of hair for 8 species. For preventing untimely grain, 4 species. For all year, one species, for quick relief from headache, one species, and for controlling high blood pressure, one species is. So, performed in present investigation, the traditional practice of local hair lotion sangi has been widely accepted and still practiced by the women folk of Maitin community residing born in urban and rural areas and in Fall Valley. The women folks of this community have a very good knowledge of plants available in their immediate environment and this information is passed on from generation to generation. The information will be useful to a younger generation who have poor knowledge of this hair care lotion to manage the common hair problems with locally available plant resources. The use of this herbal remedies lies not only in the cost of effectiveness, but also in the safety and efficacy. As younger generation prefers the modern hair care products available in the market, efforts to be made to preserve this rich cultural heritage of the Maitei community of Manipo. So these are some of the plants which have been used. It's locally known as Chani, and it's used for uh, black long hair. And there is Grit Kumari or Indian alloy. This is Camperi Galanda, locally known as the Gaitam Namanmi. And, and this is locally known as Homu Alocasia. This is Kongjai Napi, 
Again, use for pleasant smell and black long hair. Next is hot cha. This is also used for pleasant smell. This is chini chambra and it's for pleasant smell. Rock chamba for black long hair. Yong gomla. This is for black long hair and also for pleasant smell. Citrus family all used for pleasant smells and dendrobes. So uchi shumbal, this is for blood, uh, blood pressure. And therapy is for the cooling effect. So my young lembu, uh, this is used for black long hair and good job also. So how you eat? It's used for pleasant smell and honey ray for controlling blood pressure. Yampak for cooling infant. Tarok Kongsha is also for cooling infant. So this is our team in traditional attire of many food. And this is a, a picture depicting the Watching by Chengyi. That's all. Thank you. Ceremonies of birth, death, marriages, 
and other religious ceremony of the Maitei communities. Nowadays, several products are being marketed. Other than floor mat, just giving livelihood to several hundred families. So the Kauna plant, the genus Conoplectus, belongs to the family Cyperaceae and is represented by the 60 species in the world and is also cosmopolitan in distribution. In India, it is represented by seven species, seven species, five subspecies, and two varieties. The family is represented by two, ten genera and four species in Manipur. In Manipur, three species of Scanoplectus, Davis Lagustris, Micronatus, and Spinus are found. The common or English name for border species is matching rust, water rust. In Manipur language, it is called the Kauna. So the Kauna plant. But only the two species are ethnobotanically used in map makings in Manipur and other related crops. What species are perennial, rooted, and emergent aquatic plants and commonly grows in wild in the wetlands of Manipur Valley. They sometimes attain a height of 10 feet or more with numerous dark green cylindrical, shelf, and spongy stems arising from the underground regions with tough fibrous roots. The underground stems gradually taper towards the tip. The small flowers are produced in nature in brown over dense spike plates near the tips of the stem. The fruit is a smaller triangular nut containing a single sheet. So this is a cultivation of kauna plants in Tawal district of Manipur. This is a close, closer view. Here you can see the seeds also, the flowers. And in Manipur, uh, mainly the new granite species is used in mat making. So the major kauna growing areas of Manipur. Kauna plant grows both in wild and under cultivation in the wetland or valley of the state. Some of the important growing areas in the state are Andro, Kangabo, Komba, Kompal, Konjing Lekai, Lamfel, Langatel, Doremba, Nopok Shekmai, Shikol, and Wakai Kuno, etc. According to the artisans of Kauna crops, the best quality raw material comes from the Nopok Shekmai in Tawal district. So the widespread cultivation of Gauna is seen in Kalambuk area of this district. So these are major wetlands of Manipur. Some of them are the Lok Chak Lake, which is the biggest freshwater lake in the whole of eastern India. Next is the Fumnan Lake, the Karim Lake, Lokshi, Poiro, Waito, Shanafat, and are there in different districts of the east. So the cultivation practices of Kauna in Manipur. The most suitable period of cultivation is during April to May with arrival of the first monsoon showers. So during the time of transplantation, the level of water should be maintained. A water body with depth of about 1 to 2 feet is more suitable for its cultivation. The plant will be taller with harder stain if the water body is deeper and is not suitable for making good quality products. Regular wetting is necessary for highly grown up plants. Use of chemical fertilizers is not practiced in almost all areas. So the harvest. Kauna, oh sorry. Kauna is usually harvested <coughs> three times in a year. The first harvesting was done during May to June. It is known as the Kalen Kauna or the Shamar Rus. The second harvesting was done during September to October. It is known as Sairan Kona or the Acham Rus, meaning the plant is harvested between the summers and the winter. And the last harvesting was done during December to January and is known as Ningcham Kona. Ningcham here means winter. So the plant harvested during the September October is most productive and durable. The plants are cut near the base with a sickle. After cutting the plants, the harvested plant are kept in a dark room or sandy area for two to two, three days in order to retain the attractive color. It is then dried in the sun for 10 days to remove the moisture content of the plant which observed when the plant becomes yellowish in color. It is then stored in a dry place for uses. No insecticides are used during the storage. 
So this is like cut flan, it has been dried and it becomes slight yellowish in color. So the mat making. So the mat making from water rust is indigenous to Manipur in general and the Maiji community in particular. The ethnomatical use of water rust in mat making is closely associated with the legendary divines and gods, Nongdalai and Pakanga, who ascended the throne of Manipur in 33 AD. It is believed that if this plant is harvested on Friday, the entire plant community will die or evil consequences will befall upon the harvester. Therefore, the plant is also called the Irai Lema. Irai means Friday and Lema means Lady or Goddess. Thus, harvesting of this plant on Friday is avoided till today. The product of Kona form an integral part of the culture of the Maitei communities because of their multi-purpose uses, aesthetic angles, and association with disease. They are used in ceremonies of art, marriages, death, and during feasts and festivals. Kona craft is usually associated with Maitei community, particularly the women folks. Nowadays, Manipuri Muslims are also engaged in this work. So making of a short floor mat. For making a floor mat, wooden or boom bamboo frame with a number of holes at the same distance and this style end is used. Small jute ropes are then passed through the sole, both end of the ropes and tied up to the wooden frame. Then the dried cone and steam are put in between the ropes in a crisscross fashion at the regular intervals. The steams are tightened with this half of wooden frame. After re reaching the desired length of the mat, the edges or the four sides are given the finishing touch with handmade designs. Other products are generally made entirely by hands, and quality of product generally depends upon the skin of the artisans. So, this is how it is made. We have two bamboo with two drops in between, and in between, this uh, kona are placed. This is staff uh, started making, and this is a uh, semi finished floor mat. So, in all the days, the product mat from Kona is restricted to four items that is, short floor mat, long floor mat, play, prayer mat, and mattresses. Nowadays, around 50 different products are being marketed. This includes tools, cushions, chapels, hats, fan fan, fan stain tea costumes while hanging in different types of that is handbag, carry bags, I should strap. So these are the artisans at work at the self help group and content Lake area of info. They are making various products. So these are the sort floor mats or fuck attenba in money free. So these are different products, the mat basket, flower bases, and ropes. These are different sizes of ladies' handbags, shopping bags. So these are cushions, and this is mega jewelry box, file covers. And these are the item uses in the marriage ceremony. They have also made lunar bag, basket, etc. So this is a sofa set with the center table, made entirely of this kauna. The store local name is called Mora. So these are floral tributes being offered to divine souls on a family or in the mighty New Year's using this Kona mat. So, a bright truth in the center. You see that in the center just before the start of the Medes procession. It's on the Kona mat. So, during prayer also we use this Kona mat. Uh, priests are shared in this Kona mat. So during the religious ceremonies, local religious singers sit up on the floor mats while listening to religious discourse. So in conclusion, the Kona products are eco-friendly and fish farming can be done along with this Kona cultivation. 
It can help self employment to educate the youths on the stage. Coconut cultivation could be part of national western development program by giving employment opportunities to those engaged in this trade. Extensive cultivation and promotion of coconut crop is not only good for the economy of the state, but also help in conserving the unique and frozen wetland ecosystem of the state. So thank you. Questions? Are there any barriers getting those to market? Pardon? Are there any barriers getting those mats to market, for example, a large distance? Or are they able to sell them? Easily? Yeah, 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 they are able to sell right now. So it's a good product in market right nowadays. <laughs> um, so you said, I can't remember which district had um, the you said that the best Kona comes from a certain yeah, area? Yeah, it's from Chawa district, yeah. Okay, so why? What is it about the Chawa district? Maybe the condition, it suited the base. The condition. Okay. And, uh, it, uh, uh, the Chawa area has a lot of wetlands area, so the condition, uh, it suited the base for this plant to grow. Okay, so um, there's just more wetlands than anywhere else? Is that the idea? It's uh, more wetlands and also the water. Uh, you have to give a minimum amount of water. If there is more amount of water, then it becomes pretty hard, so you cannot use in map makings or any other designs. Okay. Huh? Well, thank you.